color. Wait, because it's exciting. <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Lily. I'm from Sharp Shots Photo Club, and today we're going to be learning about how to photograph color. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that your photographs are sharp and in focus. And the way you do this is by making sure the green squares on your camera screen are on your subject because you want that subject to really shine and be super sharp. Find your shutter button and then you want to push it down halfway so you get the green square on your subject. My subject here is the number 19. If I get too close to it, it will go red, which means it's not in focus and not sharp. So you just come back just a little bit and then it's lovely and nice and sharp again. So the next thing we're going to talk about is simplicity and photographing colour. Keeping your images simple is key. You really want to think about the colour that you'd like and then go out and photograph it. So the photographer here chose red. She found a strawberry, she found a red background, put them on top of each other and took the picture. So it's very obvious that we like red and we want to show red in this picture. This photograph here, the student wanted to photograph orange. So she went out onto the playground, found an orange rope, put it a little bit off to the side, which is great, and took a nice sharp picture, making sure her green squares were just on that rope, which is fantastic. And the last photograph here, the photographer really liked light blue, so she photographed her front door. And I think it's wonderful because it's something that you can recognize, you know, but then it's obviously very oriented on that light blue, and you know that that's the key color in her picture. Um, right, okay. So the last thing we want to think about is getting as close as possible to that colour, making sure that the frame is showing as much of the colour as possible. So if we go and look at this picture here of the pink sequins, do you see how we're as close as we can to these sequins, but they're still really nice and sharp, so we've made sure to keep our green focusing square on the sequins so we can still see their shape and distinguish what they are. Stairs with the yellow stripes, we've gotten close enough to understand that there's still stairs, framing those leading lines with the yellow stripes, which works really well, giving them some nice diagonals across the frame. And the piece of blue metal across the blue sky works really well in terms of capturing blue as a colour, really pushing to your viewer that they understand that blue is what you want to see. So remember, when you're photographing colour, think focus, think simplicity, and think close up, so your photographs will really look great. One more time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching today. Um, we'd love it if you could like and subscribe to our Sharp Shots Photo Club YouTube channel. And it'd be great if you could leave a comment about what you thought about what we talked about today. And it'd be even better if you could tag us on Instagram, showing us some of the pictures that you've taken with these tips we've given you. So thanks very much.